Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is John Hammond, and welcome back to another YouTube video and tutorial. Uh, in this video, I want to get started with a little bit of a repository for me to put code in and actually be able to have it so that it's in a clean place, and I'm hoping that you will be willing to do the same thing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put all this code in Bitbucket rather than Git, so Bitbucket is actually a little bit private, at least by default. So... If you have not already created an account with Bitbucket, you can go ahead and do that. I think you'd be able to just enter any email addresses and actually create an account with any information. So I already have an account. You'll probably have to create, like, log in with an email, username if you create one, and password, that sort of thing. But since I already have one, it wants me to log in. So I'll go ahead and log in just like that. And it should show all the repositories that I already have set up. I actually want to create a new one, though, so this is my first time I'm kind of going in cold for this, so let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Repositories. Create repository. Okay, that's what I want. Uh, I am the owner of that, so my repository name, let's call it tutorials, and it is a private repository, and we'll use git to work with it. We don't need any other advanced settings, I don't think, so I'm not going to actually set those up, but we can go ahead and create the repository. And it says, awesome, our repository is set up, let's go ahead and put some bits in your bucket. So if we don't ha already have git, if you don't already have kit, you can uh, go ahead and git init or anything that you've already had to create a path to it. And then go ahead and actually clone the repository, it looks like. Let's just do that. Get a terminal open. If you don't already have git installed, you can sudo apt git install git. You'll be prompted for your password. You should be able to log in just fine. Let's amp that up for you. And I'll create a new directory. Actually, I'll just clone this. In the repository, you can just kind of take the link. And you should be able to git clone it. Git clone the URL. Cloning into tutorials, it'll ask me for my username, which I will give it. My password, which I will also give it. Which I totally mistyped. That's okay, I'm going to do that a lot <laughs> in all of these videos. I think I did it again. Okay, cool. So I have cloned an empty repository, that's awesome. That's exactly what we wanted. We should be able to now move into that repository name as a directory. And there's nothing in here other than if I ls-a to see all the files, we do have a .git directory. So we know, yes, this is actually a git repository. So if I were to actually make changes, if I were to touch any file, now that's file that, that file has been created, I can actually make it a readme file. Let's, let's move any file into a readme.md for markdown. I'll go ahead and open that up with an editor, Sublime Text. I'll drag that down so you can see it. I'll open up in Tutorials that README file. And I can say, my repository. Tutorials. And I'll bold that, the markdown syntax. I can say, this is a new repository that I hope to fill with lots of things like code, notes, and other stuff. <laughs> There's really nothing there, so hope you enjoy it and make your own repository too. Sweet, so we just have a really simple file And now that that is in our repository, we can add that with git add. So add the file that we want to give it. We can commit those changes that we just made. And the commit message for this can be really anything. Um, if you've never used git before, that's okay. <laughs> Ask questions. But I'm just going to run through this if you're under the assumption, blah, blah, blah. Um, our first commit. Save changes. I just did Control O to save, Control X to break out of Nano, and now we can push those changes. I will can of course give it my username and password, which I promised to type correctly this time. Yes, I did it. Sweet. 
And now, if we go to that web page, we should be able to refresh. And hey, it now has a readme with all of its information there. And we can view the source to see what other actual files are in there, like the readme, but our repository is working just fine. Cool. So that's really how we did it. <laughs> I just created an account. I logged in as myself. Repositories, you could create a new repository. And for now, we're good. Now that we have this set up, we should be able to add more things to it. And from any other location, we can get pull or get clone this repository, push and pull information and code back and forth, and then we'll be able to work with stuff real easily and remotely. Also with a good management system. So. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Real simple stuff. We'll be moving on to uh, cool stuff and coming tutorials. Bye.